Welcome to my video. I am creating a series of videos on Gemma. Gemma is an open source large language model recently launched by Google. And from the onset of this model, this is creating a huge hype because it is actually beating the performance of the contemporary state of the art models like Lama 2 and Mistral with respect to defined benchmark. You can refer to my YouTube channel where you will find lots of videos on Gemma, how you can use it on CPU, how you can use it on multi GPU and also how you can use the quantized version of the Google Gemma model. In this video, I will particularly show you how you can use this model for fine tuning and for your own specific task, you can make the performance of your model in a better way. So before start, let me give you a short introduction about myself. Welcome to AD Academy. The main motto of this channel is AI for Am Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. The Gamma models comes in four varieties. One is 2B and 7B, which are the base or the raw versions of the models. And there are two modified versions, which are instruction fine-tuned models, that is 2B IT and 7B IT. So here I will be showing how you can use these models for your own purpose. So first of all, what you need to do, you have to download the base version. Say we are downloading the 2B base version and we'll be doing instruction fine-tuning. You can refer to my previous video also to get to know how you can use the quantized version because that will be used for doing fine tuning. So first of all, you have to install certain libraries like Beats and Bytes. This is mainly used for quantization. Then you have to download uh, and install other libraries like Peft. Peft is parameter efficient fine tuning. This is used for fine tuning your models. Then we are using TRL, which will be we're downloading the supervised fine tuning modules and we'll be downloading data sets also because we need to download data sets from the hugging face and transformer we have to install if you install only peep install transformer then it will install the 4.37 version but we need 4.38 versions updated version if you want to use the camera model and then you have to import certain libraries like transformers torch the torch we'll be using because all this implementation we are doing with respect to pytorch framework then we'll be using this user data to access the tokens, load data set to download the data sets. A safety trainer is supervised fine tuning trainer. This we need for doing this fine tuning. This LoRa configuration is for uh, defining the configuration parameters for the LoRa technique. And then you have to use this auto tokenizer and auto model for causal LM. These are the simple steps which you need to do for all kinds of hugging face transformer which you want to use. I have also made a dedicated video where I have shown you how you can use that token from Hugging Face. You can refer to my YouTube channel on these Gamma models and you can know about this technique. Here I will show you in a short how you can use it. So go to your Hugging Face website and then sign in and then go to your profile and here you will have one tab for access token. Here you have to generate a new token. You have to give some name of the token. Our token will be generated. Then copy it and then go to your Google Colab. Here you will find this key sign. You press this key sign and then you can add a new secret token. I have already added it. So how you can do? So go to this add new token. You have to here you have to give the name of the token and then you have to give the value which you have already copied from this. So once you do this, you have to enable this initially it was disabled now you have to give this notebook access so what will happen so the notebook will try to this google collab will try to access the token into the hugging face and the hugging face will come to know that which model you are downloading from which profile and then you have to change this os environment like this you don't need to worry about all this code here just understand how i am implementing it because i will be providing a link in the description box to this Google Colab Notebook from where you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. So first of all, you have to mention the model name. So here I am mentioning Google Gemma 2B. So this is the model which I'll be using. And then I am using bits and bytes configuration. So these parameters will be used 
to load the model in a quantized version load in 4 bit means initially when you download the model it will be in floating point 32 bits but you can quantize it into 4 bits so that your overall weight of the model will be decreased since you are using a quantized version. You can refer to my another video on the Kema quantized version. I will be giving the link in the description box to know details about these things. And then we are also using few parameters like normal float uh, 4 bits. And then here we are defining this tokenizer. So auto tokenizer will be downloading the model which you are mentioning in the parameters. And also here you have to mention the token. So this token will ensure that you are downloading the right things from the hugging phase if you have the access by using this token ID. And then you have to also mention this model for which you need this module auto model for causal LM. Causal LM means causal language model causal language model is used for generating some text which is based on decoder based transformer so this gamma model is actually a decoder based transformer and for which we are using causal language model here also you have to define this model id and here you have to define this quantization parameters where you will be mentioning this quantization configuration this bnb config and I have already defined about this BNB config and device map equals to zero. It means that you are using the GPU, not the CPU. So for that, what you need, you can go to this runtime, change this runtime to GPU and TPU, not this CPU for faster execution. And then you can see from here how your model is utilizing your RAM and the hard disk. While you will be doing this training, then you can use it. And so I have to download these models from this tokenizer and model. You can execute this. It might take one or two minutes depending on how much RAM is available. And then you can use that model to generate something. Now I will be showing you how you can use the fine tuning because while you will be using that raw model 2D, then you can see here I have mentioned tell me about Sachin Tendulkar and after that it is asked to generate some Thing, but it is not able to generate in a proper way. It is just saying the most famous Indian cricketer and then it is giving something which is not right. It means that we are using a base model. It is not able to perform in a good way. So for that thing, what you need, you need to do instruction fine tuning. So here you need a particular data set on which you will be training your basic or raw gamma 2B model and then once it is fine tuned then if you ask some question then it will be able to answer that in a proper way so you can use that model for your own specific task that task can be anything you can use it for say text summarization or you can use it for q a or for some other purposes so for, for doing this fine tuning we will be using this lora lora is a low rank adaptation technique where you have to mention like which rank you need because based on this rank it is actually doing this low rank adaptation so it is actually doing this fine tuning in a parameter efficient way so i will be creating a video on the theoretical aspects of the lora very soon so stay tuned to my youtube channel so here we'll be using different configuration r8 means the rank i am mentioning as 8 then i have to mention a few target models and also for which task i have to use so i am using this task type as causal lm and then just execute this thing and now once your configuration parameters is set then you have to download our data so i will be using this data set uh, average english codes and these data sets will be downloaded from the hugging phase since i am using these data sets from the transformer and i am importing this load data set and then i am loading this data set so if you want to know about this data set then go to the google or any search engine and type this thing like the data set which you are downloading and then it will tell you about this data set in details so how this data set actually is so it has one thing code so this is a supervised fine tuning technique where you have some kinds of text and with respect to that text you have a level that is why it is a supervised fine tuning technique supervised okay so here you have code and then you have author so there are some codes and with respect to that some author's name is also mentioned so from Defined sources that data has been collected where different codes has been taken and the corresponding author's name has been taken. With respect to this, you will be training your model and then you will give a random code and the model will be able to predict like who is the author for that code. So here I am downloading the datasets 
and then I am doing uh, some mapping so where it is actually taking the sample code and then it is doing tokenization and then it is placing it in the variable data and you can see this data like this so data train on code so it means that it is already splitting the data set so here it is splitting the data set into training data set and test data set and from that train data set i will be seeing what are the different codes so you can execute it and you can see so these are the different codes say pain is temporary requiting last forever so this is one of the statement if you go to the data set then you can find that there is one of the statement like this because we are creating training data set from these data sets only. And then for supervised fine tuning, what you need, you need to provide the data in the exact format in which the data set is there and you want to fine tune your model. So for that, what you need, you need to give the text or the code and the corresponding label. Label is the author. So that is why I am mentioning the code. And here I am mentioning the example of code zero. So here in data training code, you have a lots of uh, code from which we are just taking one example as zero. Zero is the index of that list. So we are taking one of the data. So here say, would you tell me or anything say, life is for the living and death is for the date. So this say I am taking, I am taking this code. So I am taking this code and also I am mentioning who is the author of this. So I am just mentioning, I am formatting the input in the way in which I want or I want to do the supervised fine tuning and then you have to return it. So I am using this formatting function. Okay. And then you can check how this your data train actually the data set looks like. So this data set is having a code and the author as I have mentioned and then some other parameters like tags or some inputs like tags, input IDs, attention, mask, all these things. And total here it is mentioning 2508, 2508 number of data samples are there for your training data set. And while doing this training, you need to mention few of the parameters in your supervised fine tuning technique. So what are these parameters? There can be different parameters. One is which model you are using. So here I am mentioning which model I am using. So this model actually is the variable on which I have actually defined my model. So this is my variable. So I am just passing it here. And then I am mentioning like which data set I am using for training data set. So I have created this data train here. And then I am using some other parameters like for this transformer, we are using some training argument parameters like maximum step. So this is the number of the epoch for which the training will happen. Then learning rate. So we are mentioning a very small learning rate. Then warm up steps is two. It means that when you are starting your training, so on based on your learning rate, you are giving some warm up steps. And then floating point is 16. So it means while you are using a quantized model. So it means that the 32 bits model is quantized to 4 bits. So there is a loss of information. And that is why while you are doing fine tuning, you are not using 4 bit, rather you, the, you are using floating point 16. So to balance it. And then you are using some other parameters like logging step for each of the epochs, it will log uh, something in your documents so that if you find any kind of problem, then you can go back and you can check your log and then you can also see the output directory. And this is the optimizer it used. Adam is one of a very good optimizer. So we are using Adam here and it has 8 bit format. And thus we are all we are using this LoRa config. LoRa config we have already defined here. So we are using this LoRa config, which is a fine tuning technique in this transformer. And we are also using this formatting function in which we are passing our input and then you can start training your model so i can start training my model like trainer dot train so it is start doing training your model so here if you look closely then i can see initially the model is having the training loss higher and then with respect to time the training loss is going down so it will do some training and it might take some time to do the training and then here I will tell you how you will pass your test data. So for that let me show you while it is doing the training I will talk about the test data. So what I am doing I am passing a text in the form of a code. So I will be passing a code. So this code I have randomly taken from the data set one of the code 
from here i have just copied it and then i am passing it here so two things are infinite so these two things are infinite i am randomly taking a code i am just copying it a part of it i am passing it and then device CUDA 0 it means it will be using gpu and that text which i am passing so computer don't understand text computer only understand number so i have to convert that text to some number by using some tokenization technique in this tokenization technique it will create some token ids which is in a numerical representation for that i will be using a tokenizer so this tokenizer from where you will get you will get it from this one which i have already defined this tokenizer so i will be using this tokenizer on what so this tokenizer is used on the text and then i am also using one more parameter set return tensor which is a pytorch so it means that whatever this tokenizer is giving output that is in the form of pytorch framework or it's a pytorch framework tensor and then i am using two device so it means that i will be using my gpu if you don't mention this two device then it will use the cpu since i want to use the gpu so i am using these two device and now I have to generate my some text on what on my text using some model so i am using my models to generate on this input so inputs is this one on this token ids i want to generate some text and while generating i have to give some parameters so these parameters are generative configuration parameters it means like while you are generating your text you need to give some parameters few important parameters on the base of which it will try to generate so there are defined parameters i have created a video on generative configuration parameters this tutorial 17 and this tutorial 18 are made in both hindi and english so you can know about the details of generative configuration parameter so here i will tell you that interviewer generally ask some questions on what are generative configuration parameters and what are the common types of generative configuration parameters which are used in industry so it's better if you are going for an interview then watch that video and also if you are using uh, these kinds of models to generate text it is better you know about these generative configuration parameters so here i am using maximum new tokens as 20 so it means that while it is generating the text the maximum number of the words or the maximum number of the tokens will be 20. so now while I execute this i will get my output and this gamma model will give some output the last layer of it passes through a softmax layers which gives output in a probability form which is some numbers computer don't understand text so it out gives output in the form of numbers and that numbers is again converted to words by using some decoding techniques so that is why i will be using this tokenizer again to do some decoding on my output and this output is a form of list i will take the first element of it that is why i am using this zero index and then i am using one more parameter called skip special tokens so it means that if there are some special characters it will skip it it is a boolean so i am using true and then if you print it then you will find that it is saying that two things are infinite the universe this so this code is actually from the author albert einstein so is it right or wrong let's check it so go to the data set and go to that thing so two things are finite and the author so this is the code and the author is by albert einstein so my model is now fine-tuned and it is giving you right answer so now you should be happy that you know how you can do fine tuning using a gamma model. So I hope you like this video, share this video with all of your friends who are data science enthusiasts and who want to learn more about this large language model, generative AI, even those who want to skyrocket their career and want to switch their career into this field, want to do a career transition, then these videos will be very helpful for them. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that whenever I will come with a new video, you can able to get notified and you can learn more and more things on hugging face on large language model. So stay tuned. See you soon.